All right, so if you came here looking for something healthy, vegetarian, and nutritious, this is not it. Donkatsu, or tonkatsu as it's known in Japan, is a breaded and fried pork cutlet. Cheese tonkatsu, on the other hand, is essentially a cheese stick wrapped in a thin pork chop and fried. And really, how is that not the most perfect thing ever? It's also a super popular street food found at tons of vendors all over South Korea. If you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. I release new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. And with all that being said, let's make some cheese donkatsu. So the first thing we're going to do is make a pretty simple dip. In a small bowl, combine mayo, twenjang, Korean fermented soybean paste, kosher salt and freshly cracked black pepper, a tiny bit of sesame oil, and gojujang, Korean fermented hot pepper paste. Give it a good mix and let it sit in the fridge for at least 20 minutes to allow the flavors to really develop and come together. So for the pork, we need it to be pretty flat in order to wrap it around some cheese. Take some plastic wrap and place it onto a work surface or cutting board. I'm using pork center loin for this since there's not a ton of fat except for the fat cap here which I've removed. A little fat is okay, plus we'll be trimming them up a bit later on, so don't stress about it. Cover the pork with two more layers of plastic wrap. Yes, two. Trust me on this. You're gonna need a mallet for this as well. Just make sure to use the flat side, not the spiked side. Then, take all of your pent-up aggression from 2020 and let that pork chop have it. <clears throat> I'm okay. You want it pretty thin, almost to the point of being transparent, or to the consistency of deli-sliced meat. Next, cut a block of mozzarella into four sticks, about the size of your middle finger. Lay out your pork sheet. I guess. Slice it in half and season it with kosher salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Now if you've ever made a burrito or wrap before, it's basically the same process. Start at one end and tightly wrap the pork around the cheese, tucking the sides in as you go. I trim the pork up a bit to make it a more uniform shape for easier rolling. We're going to be doing essentially the same thing, except this time with plastic wrap. This will help the pork to hold its shape better. The firmer you are with this, the rounder the shape will be. Then twist the ends as tight as you can and place in the fridge for at least 20 minutes to an hour. Tonkatsu is almost always served with a pile of thinly sliced cabbage, and as much as I love cabbage, I've always found that to be a bit boring. So we're going to make a pretty simple slaw instead. Thinly slice about a cup's worth of green cabbage and a large green onion. In a small bowl, combine garlic, salt and pepper, rice vinegar, honey and sesame oil. Whisk it pretty vigorously, then add a little bit of canola oil. We're not going to dress the slaw until just before we serve. All that's left is to make a batter. In a large bowl, combine four eggs and flour. You want the end result to have the consistency of a thin pancake batter, so I like to add the flour a little bit at a time to make sure everything stays nice and smooth. I'm also not seasoning the batter, since the pork was thoroughly seasoned and we'll be hitting them with salt when they come out of the fryer. Lastly, we'll need a bowl of panko breadcrumbs to dredge them in after the batter. Heat a large heavy bottom pot on high heat with about 2 inches of canola oil. Take the pork out of the fridge and unwrap them. Then dredge them in the batter making sure they are thoroughly coated. Then into the panko. The faster you toss them in the panko, the better the shape will hold up. Once the oil hits a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we're ready to start frying. Since they're still pretty cold, I only do a couple at a time. That way the temperature of the oil doesn't drop too much. If you keep them moving while they're frying, they'll cook more evenly and get a more even golden brown color on the outside. Continue frying for 5-6 to six minutes until they're golden brown and the cheese is all melty on the inside. Set them on a resting rack to cool and hit them with some good quality flaky sea salt. While they're cooling, add the vinaigrette to the slaw and mix. And now, drum roll please. Melty, cheesy goodness. Add some of the mayo to a dip bowl and pile the slaw next to it, squeezing out any excess vinaigrette. And that's it! Cheese tonkatsu. Let me know down in the comments if you love breaded pork chops as much as I do. It's such a nostalgic food for me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more content.